What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new news video. Today we got a couple of interesting topics to go over and talk about. One of them being a potential Mortal Kombat and Call of Duty crossover. I have a brand new weapon vault which I'll be showcasing and talking about in today's video. There's a new Easter egg that you can do in Warzone and more additional information in regards to today's brand new update. Now speaking of the update, I did make a video earlier today going over all the patch notes and all the details that you need to know about it such as the brand new features, new weapon balance changes and the rest of the new content. Check it out. The link will be down in the description. Before before we get into today's topic, a quick word from our sponsor, Messy Modding Store. It's a store that provides any and all Call of Duty services. They can even get you exclusive operators and bundles such as the Nuke Operator. They also unlock all the cosmetics in a legitimate way without using unlock tools or mods. Just check out Messy Modding. The link will be down in the description. So along with the brand new content that we got with today's update, there was also a couple of issues. One of them being for those of you guys trying to access the free multiplayer, it wasn't allowing some players to download the packs that you needed in order to access it. And now it has been fixed and gone on live for those of you guys on steam it says free access players on steam please ensure the required multiplayer pack is installed prior to launching the game you can start this installation via the play for free prompt on the steam store page if you're having this issue on console check your manage content game files and make sure you have this pack downloaded or else you're not going to be able to access this free trial the brand new mode that we should have gotten today all or nothing was actually disabled and removed shortly after the update and for the reason that it says it has been temporarily disabled while we investigate an issue preventing players from earning score so probably by the time you're watching this video it may end up coming back and being added within a playlist update but if you don't see it that's the reason why they had to remove it to fix this error for warzone there's also a couple issues they said the automatic resupply is causing lethal and tactical equipment loadout slots to resupply with the incorrect items rather than the stuff that you put on so they are investigating and looking for an issue on that and they also said they're investigating an issue causing enemy redeploy notifications to not play consistently so there's quite a few different bugs and issues that have arrived with today's brand new update but they are looking to work on it and fix it and they are going to be going on holiday break very shortly here so they're going to try to get everything sorted and fixed up before they end up leaving we may get one more update next week with weapon balance changes and adjustments but by then they may have already left we more than likely will not receive a brand new update up until after new year's when they come back from their holiday break but going on to the next topic apparently some players have noticed that they mentioned a bundle that is not yet released in the game and they said this they said players who purchased the gg easy weapon vault bundle will now be able to use the customizations on the hound eye integrated optic attachment but the thing is no player has really purchased this because this has not come into the store yet as far as i'm concerned the only bundles that ended up arriving early were the ones in the For You page, and those were only the Operator skin. So this is a brand new weapon vault that we're gonna get, which is gonna have all of the weapons for the Holgers, and I'll go ahead and show you guys a little showcasing of it right now. First weapon that you get is gonna be the GG Easy Holger 556. The second weapon that you have is gonna be the LMG, which is gonna be the Holger 26. And then the third one that you have is gonna be the DM56, which is gonna be a marksman rifle. And the difference between a weapon vault as well as a blueprint is the fact that blueprints, if you take the attachments off, it'll take the blueprint itself off as well, and then it'll start making it look like a normal weapon. But with the weapon vaults, as long as you keep changing the attachments, it will stay looking the same and it'll stay completely looking like a weapon vault. It doesn't seem like this one has any tracer effects based on the showcasing and all that. It doesn't mention tracer pack at all. But other than that, there's going to be other things that you get. For example, a brand new calling card. There's a weapon sticker. There's a weapon charm. There's also an emblem. And then there's three one hour double XP tokens, one for double, one for double weapon, and then one for battle pass. Not entirely sure on what the price is going to be, but probably around like 2000 to 2400 COD points is my guess. But since they mentioned this in the patch notes, it's probably going to arrive within the next couple of days. Now let's talk about the potential Call of Duty and Mortal Kombat crossover. According to leaker Forward Leaks, he posted saying potential Modern Warfare 3 times Mortal Kombat crossover soon. And then he provided this photo that says Fist of Fire. And then there's an emblem with a masked character holding out a hand that's filled with fire indicating or teasing that this could potentially be scorpion the photo doesn't look a hundred percent exactly like scorpion it looks like maybe a reskinned or a knockoff version that call of duty decide to remake of him the first thing that i thought of was the horseman bundle that we have that's going to be coming in soon and this is what the bundle looks like everything that it contains but one thing that it doesn't have is this emblem called the fist of fire it's not available at all in the store pack and it wouldn't make sense for them to not leave the emblem in it and as of right now i don't think there's really any way to even unlock that emblem so the question is, is this something that's unreleased and he just leaked that will be coming into the future? Some people responded saying it's that horseman bundle and then he responded saying it's actually not. So it seems like he's very confident that this is not 
in relation to this new upcoming Operator bundle, and this might have to do with a Mortal Kombat crossover, but what are your thoughts and opinions on that? That's definitely a crossover that many of us would want to see added into the game. It would make so much sense. They would have so many different characters to choose from. Sub-Zero, Scorpion, there's just so many. The list goes on, and the fact that they also have finishing moves in Mortal Kombat with the fatalities that they have that they could bring into Call of Duty as well, and this could be a very big event that would work out in Call of Duty, but the real question is if it's actually going to happen or not. As of right now, this is the only photo that we have in regards to it. Apparently, there's no like strings in the files, no mentions of it. And there was a couple of mentions of Michonne being an operator with Rick Grimes for the Walking Dead event. There was some indicators of the boys event way before the season one update took place. So we knew about those and had a little bit of evidence on them. But this one, there's really no evidence or anything being revealed. There have been multiple other events that have been sort of leaked in this way and they did end up coming in. So I'm not entirely sure what to believe as of right now. But take this with a grain of salt. I just wanted to cover any Call of Duty news that we get. And this is something that I've seen people talking about. I also saw some COD news articles for example gamerant.com mentioned this as well so we'll have to wait and see exactly if this is going to happen usually around maybe season one reloaded or season two start update we'll get a little bit more information if it's actually going to be a thing or not but is this a crossover you would want to see in the game? It's not often that Call of Duty does crossovers with other video games. They usually do them with movies, shows, comic books. But this would definitely be something interesting. And if it does happen, I definitely got you guys covered. And I'll let you know once we have a little bit more information on it. But as of right now, that's pretty much everything that we got. Take it with a grain of salt. There's a very likely chance that this may not happen at all. It could be any number of reasons why it never released. Maybe it was a part of that Horseman bundle, but they decided to scrap it and add in a calling card instead. Or maybe they simply just want to make a reference that will be available later in the future because a crossover collaboration requires a lot of work requires licensing permissions they got to do voice lines they got to create the operator skins and all that stuff and maybe that's not something they want to do right now or they're not able to do so just keep that in mind but going on to the next topic that we have this is from modern warzone he said looks like there's an unsolved warzone easter egg that involves finding broken parts to a drone throughout years extend if you or anyone know how to find any parts of the drones tag him and he'll try to keep an updated list of the parts and where they are found because currently it's not solved yet but people have been seeing and spotting some things here's a couple photos there's a drone part which a with a left wing available there's one with a right wing there's all these different other i mean there was a battery pack someone said they saw in the comments and the reward for completing that entire easter egg is going to be this loading screen and it's called excellent navigation and that is going to be a calling card and it has a bunch of different circles indicating that these could potentially be different areas and locations where it might be available. So if you are interested in doing that Easter egg, check that out. Check out Modern Warzone over on Twitter. He's probably going to try and figure out how to solve it and how to do it. Apparently, there's another Warzone Easter egg that no one knows how to do either. And I believe that one also will give you a calling card in regard to the bunny. But anyways, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys for today's news video. If you found the video informative or helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be talking about other upcoming events that we have, the rewards you're going to get for them, as well as the new animated camel rewards and all that good stuff in the upcoming videos probably tomorrow but if there's anything you guys want to see here on the page comment it down below and let me know but it's been your boy Chido. thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace